Okay, this is a tutorial series for Blender Python programming in the game engine. Alright, so in the previous couple of lessons we set up this cube in the cylinder so when we press P here and we shoot it, it knocks it out down there like this. Alright, so now in this lesson we'll keep this one short and sweet and I've just made some small modifications to the code in here. So within this same main routine like this, I now I'm checking for the position of the cube. All right, so what I'm doing is I have another if statement. In this case, I enclosed it in parentheses like this, though I didn't need to. That's just habit from old C programming days. And then I ended it with a colon like usual. And then I had to indent those as well. So what I say is if the Y location of the object is less than or equal to negative 100, so that's my less than or equal sign like that, then refix the local position in y to 0, the local position of z to 2, and then we'll make we'll do it also like this. And then let's make the local position of x as well. And we'll make that 0. We'll center that as well. And then we won't worry about applying a force right now. All right. And then we'll pr print the position of the cube. And the reason for this is that um, I want to see what's happening. I want to know the you know the values as I go along. So uh, we'll just print the y position at the moment, and then I then it, then that's the end of the main method. And then I call it. All right. So let's go look at the screen and see what happens. All right. So I press P, hit, press the right arrow, it hits it, and then at some point it comes back into the scene. So the cube just keeps bouncing around. Let's see, and it should re-enter the scene at the same location except it looks like it's getting skewed a little bit further in X I think that is yeah positive X it's moving further in positive X as I go well so let's see what's happening in the console to, to actually see what was printed you can't use this is the notice here this is the Python console but yet I don't see any information in this so this is used for a BPY within blender render so the console I need is this one up here, this console, toggle system console, did you get that? Toggle system console. And then here it is right here. So now it's showing me what's happening. It's showing me the position of the cube. It prints it every time that it reset at zero. And so if you get errors in your code, or sometimes if you run it and something doesn't seem quite right, you can find the information in the console like this. All right, so let's also come over here and see what's happening in X X oh well there's my problem I didn't make that X like that and then since Y is I'm gonna make Y maybe further up in the scene maybe at 5 I'm kinda of guessing right now let's see where Y actually starts Y is actually started at, well it starts at 6 0.76 so it's approximately there alright so then when I run it press the right arrow key. When it gets to negative 200 or less, it should pop back into the scene that it does. Let's see. Now that one just pops in briefly and barely happens, so something didn't seem quite right there. Let's make this 50 so it happens quicker. And print X, Y, and Z. So y, X, Y, and Z. All right, now let's try it. And there it is. It keeps popping back into the scene at that location. That one's rolling out to the side. It still doesn't matter. It should pop back into the same location. So it just keeps happening over and over again. All right? So we do a conditional check, and you notice our force. It's running out of energy because it's interacting with the plane. It's barely going to make it there. And there it is one more time and it finally dies out like that. All right. All right, well, that's it for this lesson. Just wanted to point that out so you can check in the importance of the console. And here's how, the, how you print you print statement and then what you want to show up within uh, double quotes. So you can see the here how it prints is in double quotes position of cube colon and then followed by a comma and then what you want to print and I want to print the in that case the 
object's Y location. All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.